Check it out for the first time in its 59 year history. Bethesda Christian School playing for a state title. Hoosier hysteria for the 1A school of 500 kids reaching next level, winning their semi state basketball title last weekend. Coach John Grubombs joins us live this morning along with senior forwards Isaac and BJ to talk about the journey to the final two. But hey, look who's here. You guys brought the whole team, first of all, and the bus driver. Congrats, principal, everybody, the coaches. First of all, congratulations to you all. Coach, let's start Thank with you. you down there. Talk to me a little bit about this team, what makes it so special. Uh, state title for a small school like you guys. Great job. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, I think what really just makes this team so special is um, just how tight knit they are. Mm -hmm. um, we have seven seniors who are all just great leaders. Um, they really have kind of just set the tone for us throughout the whole year. Um, I think it all starts with um, we do a special boot camp thing at the beginning of the year where guys are just tested um, beyond anything else they see really um, anywhere. and. Um, they just grow so close together throughout that moment and just through all the moments of adversity we've had this year and um, just um, being tested with a tough schedule. Mm. I mean, they've grown just so much um, as a group um, and just as friends. And I think that's really where it starts. Yeah, and I think that was part of it. I know you guys played a tough schedule early on to kind of get prepared, but you're on a winning streak, I believe. How many games have you won here? And tell me a little bit about your opponent. You want to um, take that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We won 18 straight, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so, that's awesome. Yeah, and um, along the way, it was, I think the turning point was probably Tipton, um, two-way opponent okay. that we played. We were up a significant amount of points uh, yeah. entering the second half, but ended up slipping away mm. and losing the game. Oh. And I think from that point on, uh, everything clicked mm. for us. Everything switched, and we haven't lost a game since. Wow. I know you had an injury. You're, you know, um, obviously back now playing too. And uh, according to some folks I know, um, obviously a really good player as well. Tell me a little bit about what it's meant for you to overcome injury to get back to where you are now and now playing for a state title. So yeah, obviously breaking my foot, obviously not the yeah. best way to start my senior year, but um, I had a close knit team like we've talked about, mm -hmm. um, gather around me, help me out. Um, I had some of my strength coaches come in every day, yeah. um, help me out. And um, now competing for a state championship, I mean, what, what better thing could I ask for for my senior year? Yes, rep? and you just talked about close-knit. Can yeah. we talk a little bit more about that? Because yeah. you have a brother that is, two brothers, yes. um, one that had a record, and then another brother who just broke a record. Can you explain that about who's behind me and a little um, bit more about them? Yeah, so my brother, my brother Jake, um, he's an assistant coach Hi, for Jake. us. Hi, Jake. He's an assistant <laughs> coach for us. Um, but Jake. Um, Wave your hand. He, uh, yeah, he broke, he broke the scoring record um, back in the day. What yeah. was that, 2016? Back in the day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you old man, you. Um, and then and, your brother. And then my brother, my twin brother broke yeah. it. He broke it um, the other day, a few, few weeks ago. So, I don't know, it's been cool, especially my twin brother. Yeah. Um, it was cool to watch him break it because, I mean, we've played against each other, what? Since like your we were little, yeah. Life. Each other, so. Okay, final word here, Coach. Um, what has it been like, too? I'm wondering, you know, um, as someone who loves basketball, you get into this role and then you're playing the next weekend, and now you've got a weekend off because of college basketball. Is that good to have a break, or do you feel like you, you know, I kind of like the momentum myself? Yeah. Um we really like the momentum yeah. of things, just how we've gone from week to week. Um, we're really playing our best basketball right yeah. now, um, and it's kind of tricky um, to kind of navigate that. Um, but at the same time, it gives us a little bit of downtime, allows us to do some different things, like just being here um, is awesome, and just going and doing different things. Um, so we're going to be ready no matter what. I mean, we've got great guys. Um, can't say enough about how awesome these guys are. Um, all these coaches here, too, yeah. um, they all just do a great job. Everyone plays the role on this team, and um, I think that what that's what makes us just so successful um so i think we're gonna be just fine yeah. but it does does kind of kill that momentum a we'll be bit. watching we're gonna be we're wishing you the best of luck okay is there a, i know i'm a cheerleader i'm sorry but is there a chant that you guys do is there anything when you like on three what do you guys do what is the what is it tell me it and then we'll do it on whatever do you not have like on three do you guys like what do you do so we go like all in and then everyone else says together okay you say all in and do you yeah. lead that i can't let's just yeah. do it okay go, right here let's go all in together yeah. one more time all in, together. together. One more time. All in, together. Let's go. Excellent yeah. job, you guys. Go Bethesda. Yeah, so Jim, I was telling these youngsters that back in kindergarten and preschool, 
I went to Bethesda. Oh, I did not know that. I know. Many, you know, like <laughs> many 50, ago. 48 years ago. <laughs> hey, don't, don't date yourself. <laughs>